Okay, welcome to Game Buff's first podcast. We're gonna try something new this time. It's gonna be really shitty in the end, but we'll persevere and we'll make it better in the future. Yeah, it's uh it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. Um my name is Brad Rovac. I am a part of Game Buffs. What's your name, sir? Um, my name is, uh, Rear? Yeah. Okay. You can call That's my fake ID. Yeah, your fake ID. Oh, okay, and, um, yeah, my, my real name is actually Dwayne Boykin. Alright, and I have a fake ID, by the way. Did you know that? No, what, what, what is it? Is it, like, I think I've seen it, isn't it, uh... Thompson, right? Tom, Thompson, oh, okay. There okay. Yeah, okay, Joe, we probably shouldn't do this because we might get in trouble if anyone sees us. We gotta read start. Seriously. No, yeah, I'll just edit it out. I'll just edit it out. Or okay, not okay. Edit it out, you know? Alright, but that that intro was pretty good. Okay, let's keep rolling, man. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're. Yeah, that's me. But, uh. We just thought you guys would like yeah. to know our names. Our, our real names, we can assure. Totally, our real names. Yeah. Uh, we're not lying. These, these no. are our real names. No, I'm not lying. Oh, yeah, today's my birthday. I almost forgot. It is? Yeah, it just turned my birthday a couple minutes ago. I, I don't believe you. J Check Facebook. I don't believe you. I really don't believe you, actually. It really is my birthday. I don't believe I'm checking Facebook right now, then. I don't believe you. Okay. Let's see. When were you born, Joe? What time? I mean, uh, 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 uh Raggle Fraggle. Yeah, 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 that's... Or you can call me yeah. Dwayne Boykin, too. Oh, yeah, Dwayne Boykin, that's a real name, too. We, yeah. we share names. Go ahead. Uh, I was born... I used 1990, so I can, like, see adult stuff. Yeah, you're a 90s baby, a 1999s yeah, baby? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're both 90s baby. I remember Rocket Power, and when people used to say Radical... Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you were born six days before before 2000, so you're a 90s baby for some reason. Yeah. Correct? Like, Dwayne. Oh, not, yeah, not, like you, like, not yeah. you, Dwayne, but, like, you know, other Dwayne. Yeah, other Dwayne. He, he yeah. was born right. literally four days before the 90s ended, but he's a 90s baby and he shares them all the time. He shares 90s baby memes all the time because he is a 90s baby. Well, I mean, he's not lying. He, he is. By, by but, default. Yeah, but, you know, 90s baby, I, I, I think it's more like 1993. You remember yeah. fucking certain TV shows, not 1999, and you December 31st at 1159. Yeah. Uh, speaking of TV shows, want to talk about Berserk? Someone from 1997 for 90. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a 90s baby, but that's a that's a pretty nice show. Uh, it's a I gotta, it is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a classic. I don't think a lot of people really, really appreciate. Uh, to us, it, it might it might be a classic, but well, that's just you know, I don't about think, classics. What is that? I was just hoping you would agree with me on my bullshit, but I guess not. <laughs> That should yeah. be that should be the protocol, okay? Yeah, no, we gotta keep that in. That was pretty funny. But um, yeah, Berserk, really good show, really good manga. I haven't. I mean, how long have you been reading that, Joe? Uh, since 1989 when it came out, you know. Yeah, you've been reading it since 1989. Yeah. yeah. Well, I read it. I I started reading it about five days ago, four days ago. But I remember. Last year, we we streamed we, it together. Yeah, we were kind of doing the getaway, oh, just yeah. on <laughs> Facebook Messenger, on YouTube, Both just watching fun. all the episodes. Um, yeah. I'm glad we could the, do it uh, on Skype now. Yeah, Skype's ten times better than Messenger, but I don't know. I feel like Messenger's more convenient for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, because well. Skype's only good for video calling or video talking. That's all it's good for. And then the other features nobody uses. Exactly. Like, nobody uses the, the actual messaging and stuff. Like yeah. That. That, I mean... That's why Messenger's just so... It's such a nice messaging. Mm-hmm. It's 
clean. It's clean thing. Nice, well, clean, uh, anyways, clean. back on topic. Um, uh, there's a great show. Um, yeah. yeah uh, like I was saying, we watched it about a year ago, and I remember we got, I think, before the eclipse, and I just stopped watching it. Yeah. For whatever reason, I'm fucking retarded for that. Like, literally, two oh, episodes Oh, no, away Brad, Brad, you can't say that, no. What? They don't know what that is? No, 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 no. No, you, you can't say that. Say what? Eclipse. Why can't I? Uh, I thought you'd... Never mind. You really think that's no, a spoiler, Joe? No, 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 it's not that. It's like how you said retarded. I can't say retarded? Never mind. What the fuck are you talking We're about? We're editing out this whole conversation. That's it. No one's going to see no. how awkward this whole conversation is. You're the one saying I can't say retarded. I mean... I No, I was going to say it as a joke. I, I thought you'd catch on to what I was talking about. Oh. Well, I, I mean, that's Then, then that's you thought two, it was spoilers. Yeah, that's two... Uh, Two jokes that went right over my head. I'm sorry about that. But, oh you God. know, this this is uncut, fucking straight up. Every curse word in the book's gonna be said eventually on this podcast. Like cunt. not this one, but no. yeah, like like cunt or you know, or, dick. You know that that word that got me jumped bit by of, a bunch of African Americans. Joe, no, cut that <laughs> out. No. Yeah, yeah, I'll cut this out. Don't worry, I'll cut it out. All right, make sure to keep the part in where you said cut it out, all right? Okay. And even that part. But anyways, yeah, we're going to curse a lot. We should have mentioned that before. I don't know why we didn't. But, yeah, um, Berserk, we didn't really, we haven't really discussed it. Um, um Did you notice a bunch of the stuff when you read the manga, the, the manga? Yeah, the manga. Yeah. That wasn't in did the I, anime? Um, let me think. Okay, the intro was, well, yeah, because the beginning, it's obviously, like, more played out in the manga. I love how the like, first the fucking page is him fucking an apostle. Yeah, I, I, I opened it and I was like, um, am I in the wrong fucking chapter? Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> that's it, that's the same thing I thought when I opened it. I was like, I was on Manga Reader, I think that's the website. I looked at the mm -hmm. first page, it's like, um, I'm in my living room and my family's near me. I can't be watching this. <laughs> That's exactly when, uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but when this certain character was getting, uh, raped, um, I was in the living room with my, with my family, and my mom was sitting right next to me, and I just went to the, the next page, and it, you know, showed this character's, uh, certain body parts, and she was right next to me, I was like, uh, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, and I just, I finished the chapter up there. Uh Yeah, yeah, Joe, we fucking get it. God damn. Oh, but, like, our attic, like, for some reason, we found our attic door moved. I feel like there's, like, a naked man up there. <laughs> He's just gonna come down one day and murder us. Murder all of you. But you naked. ever heard of Lizzie Borden? No, not, no. not, not Lizzie Borden. I'm, I'm trying to think what it is. It's, like, this murder where this whole family got axed up. And they, the mm -hmm. the killers mm -hmm. were hiding in the attic the whole time. And they came yeah. down and just chopped them up in their sleep. That's so scary to me. I've had so many nightmares because of that. Well, when you say, uh, was it a lady? Uh, they don't know. There was, they, was probably like two people. I'll have to they never caught the people? Yeah, no, they never caught them. Oh, that is fucking scary. I don't, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like those stories with when the killers are It's a true story, the... too. Yeah, I, I, I bet, but I'm saying, like, those stories where, the, the, especially when they're true with killers that just, like, they do crazy-ass stuff and they just never get caught. They, oh, you, you know the Jeepers Creepers movie? You ever seen the beginning of it? Or, like, the whole movie, the first one? No, I, I just know the song. Oh, damn. That's how most people, I guess, are. But, like, the first part of it is based off a true story. Like, this couple, uh, yeah, like, they were driving down some country roads you know where all the hicks are uh oops we just wait i I, I, re I do remember them in a bus driving and this uh no no, no oh, that's, what that's the... the second one in the bus. yeah okay okay go, go ahead go ahead but I'm like just... uh this couple they were going okay. down and they this guy drives erratically around them and honks at them because he's a fucking jackass and they start looking <gasps> at 
license oh plate. okay yeah now that you're saying that i actually do remember that but did did, did they like hide in some bushes or something or they went uh, to like this meat house i don't uh, i don't know what happens after that but like i don't remember but if do you have you seen the part where like they drive by like some building and they see him with bloody sheets jeepers creepers um that that might be Van. That might be what I was thinking about. I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah not, but that okay. was like a true story, except like the actual couple saw some guy with bloody rags behind a, like a schoolhouse. That's even scarier because it's like this old abandoned schoolhouse. You don't know what's in there, and he just mm -hmm. like left bloody sheets, and he saw them too while they looked at him. So he started chasing uh. them again. Of course, they uh. made it out alive, but it was on like unsolved mysteries. That show kind of went off the air fifty years ago. It's a good show, though. Well, it is. It is. It's like, except you really can't help because all the murders are either solved or thirty years old. Yeah, for you. I mean, if they were to reboot that show, I mean, I'm oh, pretty I would sure there. You know, the of... narrator died. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, let me a long time ago or recently? All I know is he's dead. I think he's been dead for like ten years. Oh, I mean, yeah, he he had a pretty good voice. I I loved his voice. Uh, Raymond. Burr. Let's look up Raymond Burr's death. I feel like it was recently. I have a feeling. Like Died 2013. 1993. Okay, I was 20 years off. You know what? Just because, let's blame 2016 for it. Yeah, I mean, no, let's just wish. blame... Yeah. Let's, let's blame a 1986 death on... Or a 1983 death. Wait, what was it? 1993? 90, yeah, 93. Yeah, no, I mean, not not, nine, to... not not nineteen ninety three. No, like he he died two thousand years ago. He just recorded his, he recorded his voice, and they happened to be able to use it. Oh yeah, they they found it in the old the old yeah, voice the box, old testament. But... Mm hmm. And they just opened it, and all the narration came out. Yeah, pulled he, out. he he predicted. They this just dubbed. Thing. They just put footage over it, and they just yeah. went with it. That's it's the story of forensic files, whatever the. Unsolved mystery, whatever show we were talking about. I yeah, forgot. Yeah, Criminal Minds, whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. It was Berserk, right? Yeah, yeah, it was Berserk. That's what Berserk is yeah, about. Berserk. Unsolved yeah, Mysteries. Okay. Yeah. But well, speaking well, of that, why is everyone blaming deaths on 2016? Like, a, a fucking number. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a lot of people know how time works, to be honest. You know, just because a year... Took, I mean, it's going to happen regardless, but I... I I was reading something, it was like, okay, this is why the next couple of years are going to be bad. Because a lot of, like, icons in the 60s, 70s, 80s, oh, even yeah. 90s, like, they're all going to end up dying, like, soon, like, in, in the coming years. But which is know, why... Carrie Fisher kind of surprised me because she's only 60. Yeah. And her mom but... died the day after. Like, do, do you know that Good Morning song? We don't actually see it. We'll get a copyright strike, though, because YouTube is a piece yeah. of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. No. Well, and there's one strike. We got two more to go, so. We, we wait, 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 wait. Well, wait. Good morning. Yeah. Nah, nah. The birds are chirping. Oh, you, that you one? ever seen Halloween Town? I, I know we've seen it in like third grade. Yeah. She yeah. was the I, I, grandmother. Yeah, I know. I saw the picture you shared. Oh yeah. I paid attention. I didn't know she was. I thought Debbie Reynolds was just. A fucking mom, and that's Her, it. Yeah, I thought she was just a mom. I didn't know she was. So wait, so she made the song, or she just, like, sang it and made it I, popular? Well, I mean, she's an actor. I doubt she's saying it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, <sighs> shit, what but, else happened yeah. in 2006? Oh, yeah, Carrie Fisher, Star Wars, Rogue One. We saw that, like, last week. And yeah, we did. It was it? a great movie. Um... You know, I I've never seen any Star Wars movie. He's, he's I mean, a no, actually, yeah, I'm a Star Wars virgin, and actually, I'm not. I I saw The Force Awakens on a bootleg. My our my German our German teacher, me and my friend's German teacher, he showed it to us. So I mean, if any police are watching, you might as well go ahead and arrest him. What, what's his name? Hate. What's his name? Is his name Dwayne Boykin? His name is Dwayne Boykin, Mister Boykin, as we like to call him. He goes to Bowser mm -hmm. High School, so, I mean, we go to Bowser goes High School, Bowser so High school. arrest him immediately. He, yeah, he, just arrest him, okay? He's Please. he's our scapegoat. You know, you know Rusty, Rusty Shackleford? That's our Rusty Shackleford. 
Exactly. Exactly. The but uh, any, anyways, um, yeah, we, we watched Force Awakens. I had no idea what was going on. I still don't. I remember about three percent of that movie. There's probably a reason for that, cause that movie was a piece of shit. Like I don't like Star Wars that much. Like I'm not obsessed oh, with it. I don't, like I don't, I don't think you should be saying those things, Joe. No, no. Force Awakens was shit. Like if you look at <laughs> in the movie, there's so many coincidences, so many stuff that just had to happen so perfectly. Like they fly. How a lot of movies are. Yeah, that's the problem, though, with a lot of movies. I mean, like, there's not a lot of movies where that happens. Like, there may be one or two scenes, but in Force Awakens, it was like every fucking scene had that. Like, that monster thing that picked up the Finn guy, it just happened uh, to not oh, eat him right away. Yeah, and, and then how did she, he get saved? How did he get she, saved? Yeah, she randomly pressed the button on a door. I don't think it was random, but it happened to close right in the arm and not on him killing him. Yeah, that's pretty You fucking, think in the future yeah, they, they'd have something that, like, make sure there's no human in front of you so even then if it was a real ship they probably have safety precautions so it wouldn't fucking crush you like a motion sensor like oh yeah like oh shit way. there's I something can't. in my way don't close it could be a bomb or a person or a, a human a five-year-old <laughs> exactly like that one that got ran over by the train remember when we looked at that the website rules uh, around um, the gauntlet run the gauntlet I don't don't look that up, people. If anybody yeah. watches this, do not look that up. We're not liable for any messed up. We're not liable for any mental damage that causes you. I'm not even gonna repeat the name of the website. It's fucked up. It's basically oh, that, just that, a, a that's lot a, of gore. That's a Fallout 4 quest name. Run the gauntlet. Really? Yeah, it's like you these these raiders trick you into going to this place and they set up a amusement park where they try to kill you. They they forced them to watch Run the Gauntlet for about 20 minutes. Oh, shit. The that... ultimate torch. Two men, one screwdriver? Was that what the one video was called? I... It is something with the screwdriver. Oh, yeah, we're getting off know. topic. Don't, don't look this up. In The Force Awakens, when Rey, like, flies the Millennium Falcon, you know that ship she just randomly picks up? Yeah. And that Chewbacca and Han randomly find in that perfect scenario... At that perfect time. And she just randomly yeah. knows how to fly it and she can fly it like like a fucking expert. Well, like she flies through all she this was other a pilot, shit. Wasn't she? Uh, I mean like all you see her fly or like move is this dumbass speeder that's on the ground. Yeah, I don't Basically, yeah, I, I, I see your point. It's like uh, flying a helicopter because you rode a motorcycle. <laughs> That's, that's yeah, what it being is. the best, being the best helicopter pilot in the. Oh yeah, and not to mention being better than people who've trained their whole lives to be pilots. You don't crash, but you, you don't, don't run in anything, but they do. Their ships are you smaller know, too. When you're editing this, you should probably put spoilers before anything that sounds spoiler related. Uh, we'll just put a beginning intro. There's spoilers if you haven't seen something that came out two years ago, or okay, ninety. Yeah. Okay, where were we? Um. Um, yeah, Force Awakens. Yeah, that's let's what go to Rogue is, oh, One okay. Now. Yeah, Rogue One just says, yeah, Rogue One. Okay, I, I like it, but there's too many scenes where it's like unneeded, like co like conflict. You know, like the one where she's jumping up through that thing and it keeps closing. Uh, yeah. It's not some important plot point. It's something that adds intensity for ten seconds. Suspense. Yeah, I I think that's the problem. They don't know how to build really suspense. Okay, this this is how I think they could have done it better. Okay, right? So, mm -hmm. she's right there. The door's closing, opening, closing, and opening. And then I think what would have been better is, I don't know, she's losing her grip and she has to climb up here or she's her muscles are fatiguing. And I don't know, because the, the whole Hate opening the and closing of a hole is just like, what the fuck? Why, why what? is it doing that too? Is that like an air vent? If, it feels like there's something that should have been there that she could just rip out. Yeah, and, and, yeah, we're, yes, Why we know we're nitpicking. Why is it closing, too? Doesn't that, wouldn't that thing have a motion sensor, too? Like, don't they think of safety at all? No. Well, I don't think they expect people to be there, Joe. Oh, uh, maintenance, maybe? Because they, they, they had the, uh, that arm grab it. Yeah, and then they shut it down. Oh, yeah, but they like, the, I like the robot, though. A lot of people Yeah, he was like pretty, him. I forgot his name. I never really I, remembered that. I just don't, XYZ. he's black reprogrammed robot. Black reprogrammer. Yeah, and uh, he, he was pretty funny. Comedic relief right there. Did you till know he, that was... Till he, uh... Passed. Oh, yeah, he's a fucking badass till the end. 
like 40 mm -hmm. shots. Did they upgrade his armor at all? Did they say that? Um, you know, because like not... the one died in one hit, and he died in like a whole army shot him. Mm -hmm. Um, let's just say I he doubt they upgraded his light. armor because he he got killed when the stormtroopers rushed him, and they only shot him like 20 times. Uh, fuck. They they only have bad aim when it's when it's useful. Mhm. Mm exactly. But when they when they're gonna kill the best character in the movie. We got four fucking s sniper rifle men. You remember that blind guy? Yeah. I feel like he's a good character, but they used him wrong. Like, oh, they, they just used it? him as in plot points. Like, oh, well, we need to do the plan scene, so let's just have him be guided by the Force. Uh, I am one with the Force. Yeah. For Wait, what was it? I am... I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. Uh, now Disney's going to shut us down, you know, because we're talking yeah. bad about their movies. Fuck them. Wait, have, wait, wait. <laughs> there's two people listening to this, and they're they're probably going to shut us yeah. down. Yeah, they're probably going to listen to 34 seconds of this, but who cares? Um, fuck you, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, fuck you, Disney. You pieces of shits. Okay, um, that that was sounded uh, pretty controversial, don't you think, Joe? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm getting at? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of controversial things that have happened lately let's talk about russian hacking or maybe lack of russian hacking or maybe lack of cia actually showing evidence and just saying it happened okay guys for this section we're going to talk about stuff that may or may not i mean we might have offended you with the star wars talk or the yeah i, I mean joe if, shut if the you're fuck a dedicated up. fan you gotta fuck you gotta chill with that shit man. if you're a dedicated but, uh, fan like i was saying <laughs> Like I was saying, um, controversial stuff coming up. Sorry if we pissed you off before. You know, this is just our opinions. We're making jokes, cracking fast jokes, just to be Nothing funny for a little super bit. Serious, no, except, except super except serious, except Rogue One and Force Awakens. Force Awakens, yeah. just, just too many. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Coincidences. I, I know. I know for a fact the first three Star Wars, the uh, four, five, and six, are really, really good. Even though I haven't seen them, I just know for a fact they're gonna be good movies. Prequels, I heard they're pretty bad, but I don't know. I might give them a, a chance. Oh, Who knows? Anyways, oh, don't listen to fucking off... people. Like they they tear them apart, but they're not nearly as bad as like Force Awakens. Force Awakens just destroys all the lore. Like, well, they needed to add new characters, Joe. They couldn't just keep going. No, back I mean, I mean, like other... Ray, like she suddenly has Force powers that can match up against some guy who's trained all his life. Out of nowhere. She might she might be the son of Luke Skywalker. It's, it's pretty much intended. Well, not intended, but hinted at. Anyways, fucking, we're off of Star Wars, okay? okay. We're talking about controversial Russian shit, bro. hacking. Russian hacking. Star Wars is off the plate. Sorry if we offended you. I might sound like an asshole, but, like, yeah, we're, we're sorry. I sound more like we're an just, asshole. Though, yeah, you, I think you're the asshole of the podcast, which is, I'm fine with that. Okay, talking about controversial stuff. He did all the research. He's gonna be the uh main information spreader sorry to put you on the spot like that jill but uh yeah he he he, he knows the topic so go ahead first and topic plus i have know. the computer open but yeah i, I have my phone so. i mean like i was talking about this with my teacher and she was like what do you think of all this and i was like you know why wouldn't people trust the cia they've only overthrown governments lied to the american people had operations set up just to lie to the American people, like, they have this whole thing where they gave fake information to journalists. About? Anything, really. It was, like, a long time ago. They just gave them fake news and told them, well, report this. And they did. Fucking pussy media. Oh, that's another thing. Okay. Like, CNN, if Trump even farts, it's like, look at this disgusting asshole did. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't like man. Trump. We don't like Trump, but we think it's kind of funny yeah. how everyone tried to get on him, and he's kind of a savage at points. Um, I was all day. Well, not all day. I'd say about two hours of my day went to watching this guy, like debate, um, anti-Trump supporters, and he was literally like tearing them apart. Okay, Joe, this That's... is a. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a segment I'm gonna call. Trump questions. Let's fucking do this. We're doing this all right off the spot. He doesn't even know about this. But, uh, okay. I'm gonna try to remember the arguments he used. 
Give me something you think a an anti-Trump supporter would say about Trump to make him sound like a, like bad that you wouldn't want to vote for him. You mean, you mean a dumb one or like a smart one? Just uh, anything. Okay. Well, actually, just from your opinion, go ahead. Say something bad about Donald Trump, and I'll try to defend it. That, that's all I gotta say. Oh shit! It was not prepared. Say something for this. about bad. Just, just come on. Anything. Um, any, you could be a base. He's racist. He's fucking. He hates oh, dude, gay people. I don't like that. Anything like that. They nor to gay people. Like, well, let me just say this for a second. Hey, 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 hey this is my this is my segment, Joe. You gotta you gotta ask the okay. questions. Uh, well, the grabber by the pussy thing could be a little of a th problem. All right, here we go. Grabbed by the pussy. When was that said? Uh, 13 years ago or something. 13 years ago? Um, I'm pretty sure you've said worse things in your life, haven't you? Um, uh, don't bring it up on the podcast, because some people actually know who we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. I'm just saying you have. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this podcast Yeah, has. me, That's du a point me Dwayne Boykin, up. I've done some things, you know? Yeah, you know, Dwayne Boykin. Okay, okay. Give me another one. Give me another point. Uh... So first one, we could say that I dismantled it. Yeah, and I, I mean, I, I honestly didn't really. That's a hard do one. To, I, that's a hard one to counter, though. Okay, he's running for president of the United States. Well, he is our president of the United States. What am I saying? And he says that. I mean, he at the time he had no intention of becoming president. He might have. Um, I doubt it, but. You know, this was stuff from the past. You know, people don't just say, Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Like, people around me have said worse shit than that. Then again, we're in high school, but... I'm pretty sure people yeah. talk like that all the time. That's, that's like you said, it's locker room talk. He probably wasn't mm -hmm. even fully serious. Maybe he's done it, you know. <laughs> he probably has. I mean, he... No. Uh, there's no... Arnold does oh, the same thing. Arnold, my boy Arnold Schwartz... Sw Schwarzenegger? Uh, Nigger. Yeah, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. We're not um, saying it. I mean, we're just saying this guy's last name is Austrian, man, you know? Yeah, shut the fuck up, Joe. Okay. Um, I said what, it. What was I saying? Oh, I, I, I read that the all the ladies that said something about rape about Trump, they all dropped their charges. Oh, yeah. That's what they, I heard. That I mean, dude. even if they are telling the truth, rape is hard to prove because even if you have their semen, it's like, well... We could have had sex, and like you can't just dismiss the men. That's why I, I don't understand why like lie detector tests aren't used in like every single case. No, but case. even like, those okay, those can be those can be false. Like if you're like worried, your heartbeat goes up. So like you could be just a nervous person. It'll say you're lying just because you're nervous. Like, did you kill your daughter? Yeah, I'm oh, no. No. <laughs> I get nervous a lot, and that would probably fuck me up. But okay, anyways, back to the. Trump game. So one, what what would you say? Did I correctly? No, no. Um, I, I still have to ask a new one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm saying for the first one. Do you think I, you know, kind of dug yeah, like, that one? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, Give me uh, another one. One could say his. Like he he's running a campaign based on lowering costs, but he wants to build a wall, and it's obvious Mexico's not going to build a wall. So, and even now he's like he say, well, we might have okay. to use taxpayer money, and Mexico will offer a reimbursement. Okay. Um. Yeah. These these are current problems. The, these problems were all like the dude the the guy that I was watching. This was like election type questions. I'm not saying that was a bad question because I can turn that into an election question. Which one of them was, oh, he's going to build a wall. And then the dude the dude that I was watching, he said, ah, we'll probably have his name up right now. Um, we'll figure it out. But uh, he basically said, hold on, what, what did this man say? I'm trying to, oh, he said, okay, do you want, yeah, he was like, do you want illegal immigrants in your country? And they, they would always dodge the question. They'd be like, um, well... Yeah, I'm not sure, but he he was like answer the question. Like he would put them on the spot. That it was all oh, literally like supporters. Like it was social justice warriors, Hillary supporters. I'm not saying all Hillary supporters are like this, but the ones that were protesting were like really toxic uh, um, at, yeah. at these rallies. Well, they're like anti-Trump rallies too. They all the information they get on Trump is from social media. Yeah, exactly. Like that's exactly what he was trying to uh, prove. 
and they were like, okay, are you willing to spend uh, all your tax, well, not all your tax dollars, are you willing to spend your tax dollars on possible rapists, possible serial killers, possible this, possible that, and they were like, I mean, yeah, and he was like, really? <laughs> they were like, yeah, he was like, okay, I'm talking to the next guy. He, he, he basically just, you know, kind of fucked him up. I'll, I'll send you the, the video of that bastard, all right? Okay, maybe maybe sometime in the future we can actually watch videos on the podcast. I'll figure out how to set it up. Cause I, I've good. you know I've it, been it, wanting to do a podcast with us and like a bunch of us for a while. Cause like I watch podcasts all the time. They're they're pretty cool. I want to be able to stream mm -hmm. videos. Like we we have the software now to stream videos and still record. Really? Yeah. We're coming up, man. We're like I, up. I have the what's it called? Uh. You guys should go check them out. All two of our viewers, viewers, open broadcaster software. It's you can stream through YouTube, which is what most of the YouTubers I watch use. And you can watch videos mm -hmm. at the same time while talking to people and making comments. And you can add other people into a Skype call too, like I'm doing right now. So that's how reaction channels are, right? That's what they use primarily. You would think. Probably. All right. Well, now we know the secret. Um, shit, actually, I think I can do that with Fraps. I don't think they may, they may not even use this, unless they're doing, like, live stream of React. Yeah, who knows. Um, I don't get live okay. React, though. It's like, well, what do I care what a five-year-old thinks of a fucking Roblox? <laughs> um, oh, I was watching... Wow, news. dude! That's radical! I was watching, uh, uh, this dude behind the meme... He's he's a pretty he just explains memes and stuff like online memes mainly YouTube memes and stuff like that but uh there's this there's this new meme called the Roblox death meme and it's pretty much the Roblox death sound where he's like <laughs> he's like ooh he's like ooh something like yeah, I think I replicated that pretty nicely but um I used yeah, to play and... Roblox <laughs> hold up let me finish my story my boy but anyways. They just use it in like, like songs. Like a, they'll use it in fucking a Shrek song. They'll use it in Robbie Rotten, uh, Lazy Town songs. And it memes are stupid, but they're they're just so fast spreading and funny. I don't understand it. But yeah, I I, I still play Roblox. I'm not gonna fucking lie, but I do it for achievements on my Xbox. So fuck you if you're oh, gonna judge me. Yeah, I think I think you mean so? I think you mean memes, Brad. Memes. Mems. Oh no, I, I meant Mimi's. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, wait, Mimi's. Okay. Mimi's. We, we, what, we actually... enjoy Mimi's at Game Buffs. Mm -mm, we're we, sure we, all 2.5 of our viewers would like to know that. Mm-hmm. Would we get like people from India? That's fucking weird. Like every time I check the YouTube stats, we get more and more men. I mean, tch. what? Nothing wrong with that, dude. Uh, I guess, but. Let's start appealing to the other uh, oh. sex. Men are stupid. There. The other 37 we should, we should start going up. Yeah, all 76 or even millions of millions of them, you know? Yeah, man. Totally. Okay, before we say something controversial, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, we went... Look how fucking sloppy this podcast is. We went from controversial to Donald Trump game to Roblox to memes. To fucking this. Oh, where, where, where you, you let's go back to memes a little bit. You know One Punch Man? Yeah. Oh yeah, we watched it really? together too, I forgot. Did we watch the whole series together? Uh I think no, we, yeah, I think we I think we did. We stopped at some point and skipped the Boros. Oh, we just straight up skipped Lord Boros. Yeah, after like a few of them, like such a good fight. One Punch Man, like when I re looked at it, some of the characters are actually really good. Some of the supporting characters and like there's little stories that are in the background, and then One Punch Man's just sort of out of it. Yeah, because like they don't think he's up. Up. They think he's like, cause he he he's not epic like them. He's just a fucking bald bastard. And usually when he fights, it's just like, oh, well, this is more early beginning of the anime. But when he fights, it's like out of their view, and they're like, oh, you're rank C, just because he. What was it about? His popularity, I think, dropped him down to a C. But, yeah, when he was training, he had, like, the best 
jumps, the fastest speed, the strongest fucking kicks. I don't know how they were grading it. How does but, being a yeah. hero work in that world? Are you born that way, or can like you train up? To... Well, I know One Punch Man did, but is that what yeah, everyone else there at the hero thing is? Some people are born with powers, I guess, and like some like just train to be superheroes the whole life. Green haired lady. What's her name? Yeah, Susumi? I, I, I don't know. I hate that bitch. I heard. I heard. Uh, Strong female lead. <laughs> You gotta strong heal. Female, no, they they do bitch. them all wrong though. Like, I, if I want to see a strong female lead, I don't want them yelling every five seconds. That that's not yelling how the you main do it. character punching them in the face. Like, fuck you. Hate it. I really do hate it. It's annoying. Oh, my mic was off. Like, I I hate strong female leads. Well, not all of them, but like the ones where it's like. Yeah, stop doing that. Why are you doing it? And then they punch him or kick him or stab him even. Casca. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. I used to hate her, but she, um, she grew on me. Because she's chocolate. Who? But... Casca. Who? Um, she she's, oh. seems tolerable for some reason, though. Unlike Sakura. Yeah. She has a she like she has a personality. Besides, I love Sasuke. I hate soccer. I hate Chi Chi. I hate. Um, this might make me sound really sexist, but a lot of anime characters are just annoying as fuck. They, they don't. No one does female characters right. Maybe I would say more in anime, they fuck up a lot, a lot worse. Oh yeah, there's definitely movies where they do a good female leads. I guess. Uh... Can't remember one off the top of my head. Even Rogue One, I, I liked her. I, uh, I, liked her. I mean, I just say she's too perfect. Like you know what I said, like she magically got force powers, but she's not like annoying. She's actually cool. Mm -hmm. Putting everything aside, she's cool. She's not yelling at everybody. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, and oh no, I was thinking Force Awakens. Like Ray, like, yeah, she's a little too perfect, but like she doesn't yell at anybody. Mhm. Mm Which is. Why was Quite everyone, like, movie. British in Rogue One? I don't was know. That, was that me? I think that's a lot of Star Wars movies. That oh, wait, do, of, do you remember the part where, like, uh, fuck, what's her name? I don't remember anyone's name in Rogue One, but I just know who they are. Um, shit. See, uh, this shows how uh, much we've Let's call her Dee Dee, okay? You, you remember when Dee Dee saved that little Asian girl in the middle of the fight? <laughs> and then yeah. she later gets blown up anyway <laughs> by the Death Star? That was such a pointless, like, scene. I mean, we not were, a pointless we were, scene. Well, it's not. It shows the war since it's supposed to be about war, and I, I liked it. But she got her ass fucking blown up. Yeah, blown she got bits. blasted. I hope she, like, escaped she... on a ship. Just her. Yeah, just her. I, like, her and her parents. Like, like let's get out of I was here. Her daughter almost right. died. Really was. I didn't want her to die just because she's like... <laughs> she's I brought that up in the movie theater, too. Was, you know, I'm glad there was, like, nobody in the movie theater compared to what there usually is. Because we were loud as hell. We were... You don't want to be a movie theater with us. We're, I'm... We, we can't you stay don't. quiet. We can't. And, and uh... <laughs> apparently some guy told us shut up, but we didn't hear We didn't hear him because we are that loud. Remember, remember uh, I think it was last year or two years ago, just about, where... Some guy mm -hmm. told Louie to knock it off. He turned around and stuck his tongue and went. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he uh, the dude got up and Louie was acting like he was about to suck on the back of the head. And uh, the dude turned around and Louie like just put his fist down. I was like, Louie, you fucking pussy. He's like, oh, I should have knocked him out. I was like, Louie, shut up. Louie, shut up, dude. He turned into Big Zane for a second. I mean, Big. He Dwayne turned into Big Zane for about three seconds. I mean, no, uh, Big Big Dwayne, Charles. Big, big Charles. Dwayne Boykin. Let's use Dwayne for everyone. See, use person. Yeah, let's just use Dwayne Boykin's name and like likeness for the remainder of this thing. Okay, um, are we going back into controversial topics, or do you think we should wrap it up in a little bit? Because uh, we've been running for about 40 minutes. Yeah, we made it to our merch. This is I mean, a test, really. Do you want to maybe do one more topic and then... Uh, do an yeah. outro? Okay, what do you want the topic to be? Uh, cut this out, by the way. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut all of this out. Okay. Uh, do you want to go back to Trump and just talk about him for a second? Goodly or badly? Actually, let's talk about someone else, like George Bush. 
George Bush is a funny guy. George like I, I like George Bush, just not as a politician, but he's funny. Hold on, hold on. We gotta eat. We gotta slide into it. We can't just get a cut and we're talking about George Bush. What were we just talking about? Uh, we were gonna go to Donald Trump, but let's go to a, I guess, another Republican. No, I, I'm saying when we were when we were talking on the podcast. What were we talking about? Like, uh, shit, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, remember. it was Two about seconds. Louis. It was about Louis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> about to get at the theater. Beat up. You guys yeah. kept ki kicking my chair, too. That's why I made sure I wasn't behind anybody this time. And uh, when Louis, the, I don't know if you saw this, but he was sitting with his girlfriend, the dude was, and then Louis put his foot up behind his head and he acted like he was about to kick him in his head. <laughs> that was so funny to me. I don't know why it was. Is that but, there, or did he leave? No, it, he 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 left. I don't remember. I, I remember him was, being there, and he was there at the end. It was like, oh. remember when I tried to start conversations with people outside there, like, yeah, dude, I love the movie too. They just kind of no. like they kind of like stared at me. Oh, I did it with a bunch of people. Uh, I was like, I yeah, remember. dude, the weather's real nice, and it was like a totally unrelated topic. Oh, that's so crazy. They tried Wait. so hard to ignore me. What? How long have we been uh, in the car, Joe? Uh, shit, it doesn't say, but we started at like 12.33. It's 1.06. I, yeah. I mean, it's uh, 2.33. 45 minutes. We've been yeah. going for 45 minutes. We've been going yeah. for 45 minutes. All right, guys, everyone on the podcast, <clears throat> we're probably going to talk about one more thing and um, call it quits because this is actually pretty long. Do you want to go back to George That's Bush? what she said. <laughs> We never went to George Bush, Joe. Oh, we can we can go to George Bush now. Yeah, let's go. Let's talk about George Bush. Did what do you, you want to? You know talk about George? You know he does paintings now. He does what? Paintings now. Like look up George Bush paintings, and you'll probably see this cute little picture of a poodle. I will look that up right now. I did not know that was a thing. If he's gonna paintings, put him in yeah. his presidential library. He, like he, he, some of his paintings are decent. Some are bad, of course. But then some, you can actually see what he's going for. He draws celebrities a lot, I, I guess. Yeah, and political figures. Like he drew Putin, and the Putin one looks really weird. It looks like stretched. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that one right now. Maybe we could put an image on the screen, uh, right about yeah. now. There it is. Yeah, it is. let's not, let's not totally put a unrelated picture up there. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can get a picture of Jay Leno right about now. Yeah. All right. Good job, Good job Joe. You Guy Fieri. Take us uh, to Flavor Town. Yeah. Maybe we can get the ones with him and his little puppies right about now on the screen. There it is. There okay, now it. let's get. Uh... Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Joe. we can't do that. Yeah. We can't do that. We can't. We can't do... <gasps> Wait, he drew a naked picture of him and uh. Yeah, we can't do that, Joe. Oh. But uh. <laughs> Let's... I don't know if he drew this. Uh... Yeah, well, there you guys, there you guys have it, man. We, what did we talk about? We talked about Rogue One. We talked about Star Wars in general quite a bit. We talked about Trump for a little bit. We talked about 2016. Talked about 2016. Memes, anime. Talked about memes, anime. A lot of we talked about Berserk a little bit. Talked about One Punch Man a little bit, and I think that's about it. You know, let's get back into anime just for a second. I started okay. watching battle scenes from Full Metal Alchemist, and there's a guy. I swear, he he looks like Hank Kill. Look up Wrath. He looks like a muscly Hank Kill. Wrath and 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 what? Wrath and Full Metal Alchemist. R-A-F-F? -F? Yeah. Full Metal Alchemist. There's gonna be a picture on the screen right Oh, wait, about... he doesn't have glasses. Oh, I guess he doesn't... No, he doesn't... He has an eye patch, but he has his eye, though. I don't know what the hell that's about. I don't know. He doesn't look like Hank Kill at all, actually, now that I look at him. But he just reminds me of Hank Kill. Yeah, he, he, he looks nothing like Hank Kill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you see um, that episode of King of the Hill where it was like propane the game? No, but I saw an episode where. Okay, this is a great topic for our next episode. But yeah, no, uh, <laughs> I forgot about King of the Hill. No, I, I saw an episode with uh, Boomhauer where he talked normal, and everybody else around him talked like Boomhauer, and dang, that's how he's reality. Is. Like an adult. 
that, he had is less, that of, he had less of an accent though. He was like was that perfect. That? He had like the narrator voice and everything that like that accent where there's like nothing to it. Mhm. Mm God dang, Hank! Act <laughs> like don't. Man, I don't even care, man. Them, 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 them. Oh, the volume got fucked up. Oh, sir. Oh. Yeah, my arm was on the mic for a little bit. Is it better? Yeah. Alright, sorry. I fucked up. God damn it. Okay. Um, yeah. It, we've been recording for about 50 minutes. We might cut out about, I don't know, a minute or two of this. Because well, I think we did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. First podcast. Pretty nice. We're keeping this shit in the podcast. Do you want to you wanna bring someone else into this? Like Joseph? We we could bring anybody we want at any time. We just need their permission, just like. For... Oh no no no! We don't need their permission. We'll tie them up and like talk. You talk, <laughs> make funny. Yeah, we'll just put a, we'll just put a mic to their mouth and see how good they do. Um yeah. Anyways, that was the Game Buffs podcast. <laughs> Electric shock through their balls. If they don't say Electric anything funny. Electric shock to their balls. That'll really make them comedians right there. Yep. But. Yeah, that was Game Buffs. Um, my name is Brad Rovac. Thank you guys for well, well, let's tuning steal, in. Let's steal a I... famous line. Good night and good luck. Wait, who said that? Who says that? Hey. No, yeah, no, no, no. That's, um, that's seriously a reason. You're getting, ki you're getting kicked reason. from Game Buffs, Joe. That was way too far. You're fucking out, dude. Uh, I think it's like... I mean, pretty much when you're poor you, and you... And you fuck. You're... Condoms are like five dollars. Pulling out is zero dollars. <sighs> Pulling out doesn't work all the time. Yeah, if you're just not ask. Good at it. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say his name here, but ask Dwayne Boykin. It didn't work out for him. Yeah, I know. I think, I know. He, I think you know what I'm referencing, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice reference right there. But okay, fuck. Anyways, this is the third time I tried this outro. Damn it, Joe! If you fuck me up one more time, um, yeah. My name is... Okay, I'm about to say something more iconic than what you just said. And it's going to sound beautiful and it's going to give everyone chills. Anybody who made it to the end of this video, which is probably zero people, but I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> when we're fucking Some famous... Some guy from India and... will. Some guy from India will. Game Man, that is my favorite. Also... And then, now he's going to tune out. He's like, he's fucking and racist. That is... That's not racist. I mean, because uh, we looked at our stats and a lot of people are coming from like India and, and Bangladesh. I don't know if that's true. Hey, we both said that. But, uh, yeah, n n we're not trying to be racist or anything. Um, okay. All right, shut the, Joe, shut your ass up. Okay. Um, yeah. Are you guys ready for my outro? Here it is. Thank you, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Thank I, you ask, so much. Ask that question again. I'll add in, like, a bunch of children saying, yeah. Okay. What, wait, what did I say? Are you guys ready for my outro? <clears throat> Are you guys ready for my outro? <laughs> All right, great. Um, I don't know how well that fits into a podcast, though, Joe, because I'm respond. Okay, whatever. We'll just keep all of this in. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Here's the iconic quote to put chills down your spine, Joe. After this, I'm out, and you say whatever you want to end the podcast. Uh, check out our Twitter. I'll I'll link it in the description. I I actually have a Twitter for this, by the way, for game buffs. Um, yeah, just just follow us on Twitter. Subscribe. Like the video. Tell your friends, share it, whatever. Do whatever you got to do, you know. We're, we've been struggling a little bit, if you can't tell. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, everyone. My name is Brad Rovac. Good night, and God bless. There's an atheist. Good night, and good luck.